Wang Eya has responded to the Chum Brothers saga, and he might sue the media here. Here's Wang Eya's response uh, to the Chum Brothers saga. Uh, simplify uh, and most importantly, uh, summarize for you. Because can't really don't see his video. Don't assist if you don't understand my essence, you idiot. So, so, uh, so, if you are new to this saga, uh, then the story is very simple. Uh. Wang Eya complained about a trip uh, that he had uh, with Chum Brothers uh, in a live stream video on 16 July. Then uh, on 31st July, uh, Chum Brothers suddenly said uh, they are going to take legal action uh, against some public figures without naming anyone. Uh. So for a few days, uh, Wang Wei was quiet about the saga uh, until 6 August uh, when he came back to Singapore and he responded uh, in a 1 hour 30 minutes video in the afternoon and did another one uh, at night, both uh, with the same context uh, except uh, the things he saw are uh, different. Uh. In the first video, uh, he admitted that lawyers uh, are watching it. Uh. Wow, lawyers uh, pay hundreds per hour once, yeah. so uh, that means uh, <laughs> <can't do> it. <laughs> So for this video, uh, he's very 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 angry with reporters. Uh. Not just angry, yeah, but super angry. Uh. He highlighted uh, that he did good things uh, like doing charity uh, but no one wrote about it. But when a saga occurred, uh, the media immediately jumped on it uh, like how a cat uh, will fly towards you uh, when you merely open a can food for yourself. Uh. And he focused on this uh, whereby the writer said uh, the offending video uh, has been removed. He said that's not true uh, as the video uh, isn't removed. Actually, uh, watch on uh, then you'll know uh, why there's this misunderstanding. Uh. But anyways, uh, Wang Ye is super angry uh, saying that reporters uh, just copied what haters say. He admitted that the winner uh, is a media uh, and the losers uh, are Chum Brothers uh, and him. Uh. As to haters uh, who say that he's a disgrace to Singapore, uh, he said at least uh, he has served 2 years of NS eh, and also went for 13 years of reservice. Eh. And just for the simple fact, uh, he won. Uh. But maybe still lose to this guy. Uh. <laughs> Interestingly, uh, because of that, uh, he's wondering whether to sue them or not, uh, given that it's fake that he has removed the video where it's not. Which leads to the next question. Uh, why the misunderstanding? Eh? I don't know, uh, but let me ask the person uh, who wrote the scripts uh, for those Wangi videos. Uh. Hey, son, eh. Why is writing one script uh, so hard? Uh? Well, uh, you know, each video is uh, one hour or two hours. Eh. And the key info uh, is only mentioned in one or two minutes. Eh. Then what happened in the saga that could have caused a misunderstanding? Eh? He spoke 27 minutes uh, and then asked people to go to another video. And then the other video uh, is not his page but other page. Nah, base, if I miss one minute there, uh, I will not be able to find the other video one. Eh. But you can always watch all the videos since it's your job. Ma. Yeah, hello. Say no cap, uh, I Gen Z. Eh. I come to the office uh, to do a day in the life of a 21 year old intern one eh. Not to work eh. Sorry. I call police. Eventually, uh, Wang Lei has not addressed uh, the Chum Brothers issue, uh, saying that he's not going to feed the media with more stories. In the night video, uh, he repeated what he said uh, and also told his grandson uh, not to be a journalist uh, when he grew up. So far, uh, there hasn't been any updates to the saga, uh, but got something uh, we must learn here. Uh. Got people uh, impersonate him uh, and even managed to scam some of his viewers, uh, so he told his viewers uh, to be more careful. Uh. In the meantime, uh, you can watch this video uh, to know more about the saga uh, and also subscribe to us uh, if you have not done so. Uh.